Welcome back everyone. In today's video we're going to be going over how to replace that thread protector on your Bepper rifles and add whatever kind of uh, threaded muzzle device that you want. So without further ado, let's step into the garage. So what we're going to do to actually grind this off is we're going to grind against the grain here. Um, reason being is that the pin is pinned in underneath the barrel threading almost. And you'll see that once we get it off. But I'm going to use a grinder here, but you could use a Dremel cutting tool and just kind of grind away the same area. It really doesn't matter and you're going to see that here in just a second. But the thing to remember is, number one, you don't need to grind anywhere near your front sight post because that's not where the pin is, which you guys will see here in a second. And you kind of need to grind uh, perpendicular to the way the pin is. The pin goes like this. You're going to kind of grind this area right here underneath it. So we'll show you what that looks like here with the grinding wheel. Obviously you want to wear eye protection. I checked it to see if it was loose enough just by turning it. It's not quite there yet, so we're going to need to grind a little bit more into where that pin is. So a little bit more grinding coming up next. You guys can see the remnants of that pin in there now. What I'm going to do now is just kind of put a little screwdriver or something in there to kind of pop it up. You can see the actual outline of what it is. You could keep grinding, but I don't want to get close to those threads, so I'm going to see if I can just pop it out by hand. As you can see there, we're extremely close. I could probably knock it out like that, but I'm going to do a little bit more grinding just to uh, loosen it up so I don't have to beat the crap out of it. But we're almost there, guys. This is what we have here after that last bit of grinding. You can see it's pretty much just falling out. So we'll go ahead and remove it. And that is the last remnants of the pin. This thread protector there is a little bit tight and likely just due to kind of the roughness of the pinning and welding. But some of them will rotate right off just with finger tightening and this one's a little bit tight. So I'm just going to use some vice grips there. Nothing too much, but it's just going to kind of push through the roughness and the grit. You kind of have to judge it. If you're pushing real hard, you want to stop and grind more out. But we'll see how this one is. Yeah, very little pressure at all was used to overcome it there. So you'll see, it looks like we're good. I just had to move it a little bit. And we'll try it again. Hit another rough patch. And once you get these off here, you can clean those threads up. It's likely going to be very easy. Yeah, you can see it's hitting a rough spot every time I turn it around. So we'll see what that is once we get it off. It actually could be part of the thread protector itself rather than the threads. Yeah, it looks like it was the thread protector rather than the threads because take a look here at the threads. Show me up close. I'm not sure if the camera's focusing there. You can see that little bit of part that was roughed up there. That's from the uh, factory pinning and uh, that's no big deal. We'll just clean that up a little bit there with some polish and take out the rough spots and uh, that'll be it. As you see there, I kind of nicked up the uh, finish there, but that's nothing a little black spray paint can't take care of. I cleaned the threads up a little bit at this point. You just put on whatever 14 millimeter muzzle device of your choice that you want to. We'll just go with this one here. This is an experimental uh, prototype that I worked on a while back with another company. It never got put into production, but so that's what this one is here. You just push it down and we're going to work that down. And that's pretty much it, guys. Your uh, threaded muzzle is good to go. That's really all there is to it. Very simple process. One thing to remember, guys, is that 922R compliance. That's on you guys, not me, so make sure you're uh, aware of that as you're modifying your rifles. But if you guys have any questions about this, anything else to talk about here on the channel, you can feel free to post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.